Welcome to the Zen Zone. Zen Lee here on the Bigod Master. Arguably the hardest EUC to master. Has the most power, really high top speeds, and a really high pedal height. So it takes a lot of getting used to. I think it is probably the hardest EUC to start on, but that doesn't mean that it can't be your first EUC. In this video, we're going to go over three exercises that will help you build muscle memory and stability. I think most people will start on a smaller EUC and then work their way up, but there's no reason that you can't start on the EUC that you want most. If you want to start on the most advanced EUC first, you can totally do so. I think you only have to know that it's going to be harder. It is going to, it's like jumping up in weight. You're moving up a huge weight class without having started at a lower weight class. So I don't know if you're like going to the gym and you just put on a bunch of weight without like preparing your muscles, your core muscles for that amount of weight, you're probably going to get hurt, right? And it's the same thing with the EUC, with the Big One Master. If you don't take the time to develop your core muscles, you're going to have an accident and you're going to have a bad experience. There's so many people, they get their EUC, they wreck it early on, and then they end up selling it, you know, either a scrap or whatever they can get for it. And then they move on and they never come back to it again. So these exercises are designed to help you build the stability and core strength you're going to need to be a rider in the long term. These aren't quick fixes. These aren't quick tips to ride. This is hard work. It's hard work to learn to ride a heavy EUC. Your legs are going to get sore. Your muscles are going to be sore. It's going to be a painful experience for most people. And it's not fun at all. It's really not that fun. But once you have it down, once you have those muscles ready, and you start to ride, there is nothing like it on this earth that is as much fun as riding at UC. I've tried all kinds of sports, hobbies. I've really done it all, I feel like, and nothing compares to riding an electric unicycle. So it is a lot of work to get to a point where you can ride safely, but it will be worth it if you stick with it. That's the biggest thing. I almost gave up. I was one of those people tried to sell my wheel about two weeks in my legs were too sore. I just couldn't get it. And it took me about a month before I could get it. So give yourself at least a month of working hard and developing the muscles. If you're not getting sore, you're not really gaining any muscle. You need to gain a little bit of muscle. These are new types of movements and new types of balancing that you may never have done before. So there will be a bit, you know, as they say, no pain, no gain. That's the bottom line. If you want to get good at riding at UC, there is going to be some pain involved. However, again, once you get past that, the pain, the initial pain threshold, you know, after about a month, your shins, your thighs, your calves, all of those are probably going to be pretty sore. And even maybe your ankles and knees, you need to watch out for those. Those are very important joints. You know, stretching out beforehand is very important. Getting loose and limber, knowing your body. There is some level of athleticism involved. The more athletic you are, the easier it will likely be. If you have like a background in ballet or Pilates or yoga or any, any sort of sport, really, it's going to be extremely helpful, you know, especially in like skateboarding and uh, skating that will help as well. The core muscles, but if you don't have any of that, which I did not, you know, there is going to be a lot of development that needs to happen. And that's what this video is all about. I'm going to give you three exercises that will help you develop as an EUC rider. Whether you're beginner, intermediate, or advanced, they should help everybody. All right, once you have your gear on, are in a safe location, you got the right PSI in. I recommend a lower PSI for learning so it's not as squirrely. What you want to do, and what we're working on with these three exercises, is the stabilizing muscle of the leg that locks in first. So right now, my right leg is locked in, and it is pushing against the wheel. It takes a lot of muscle to hold it in. It's a heavy wheel, right? So I'm trying to hold it with one leg and balance on that one foot. And then gradually, you want to kind of step up with the left foot while looking forward. You're not putting your left foot onto the pedal. You want to keep your right leg locked in. And the more you lift up that left leg, you're going to feel the pressure on the right leg. It'll start to hurt your right leg. Also, you want to do it on both sides. Don't neglect your weaker foot. My left foot is the weaker foot. It needs to be developed more. So I need to lock it in and practice with the left foot. This will probably be hard for you at first. The wheel is going to want to get away from you, which is actually a good thing. When you feel the wheel trying to get away from you, stabilize 
with your whatever legs locked in stabilize with that leg and put your energy into that leg that is the leg you are exercising it needs to be able to hold up the wheel by itself one leg needs to be able to support the wheel and then when you get both of them to the point where each leg can support the wheel you're in a great place this is a more advanced variation where you're instead of just bringing the foot up you're bringing the foot the off foot onto the pedal and then you can alternate feet as well this is more advanced you may not be able to do this on the first day i would say on the first day stick with the first exercise where you're just focusing on strengthening the stabilizing leg so whatever leg locks in first that's what you're trying to strengthen and you strengthen that by locking it in and stepping up with the other foot and you're going to kind of be off balance and you have to stabilize really hard with the the right foot or the left foot whatever which one's locked in and that muscle will get stronger over time and then once that muscle's strong enough you could step on with the other foot and try to lock on with that foot and then you know step on step off with each alternating foot the biggest worry during this phase is rolling an ankle because you're so high up you may step off too hard or wrong and roll an ankle so wearing some ankle protection some boots may be helpful this is the most important exercise in my opinion in fact you could probably get away with doing this exercise alone for the first week or two simply skating around with one foot locked in i've locked in my left foot and i'm skating with my right foot that way i always have a point of contact close to the ground if i start to lose my balance i will just lean on my foot that's you know connected to the street not not too much risk of crashing whilst focusing on that stabilizing muscle my left leg's locked in right there so i'm putting my energy into that leg now i switch back to my right putting the energy into that leg locking it down and then stepping up with the left foot skating around i call this the skate skating exercise because you're basically skating around with one foot locked in and one foot is protecting you the foot that's on the ground is protecting you and then you're uh, exercising the foot that's locked in you're probably going to drop your EUC quite a few times like I do right there. You just lose your balance. Try to grab onto the top before it hits the ground. But if it does hit the ground, you got your Clark pads or your pads on there to protect the wheel. You can always add more pads. Make sure you do have some pads on it. You don't want to ride it totally naked because you could damage your battery packs on the Bigode Master. Especially, that's why I have the Clark pads on to protect it. And these stock pads are great for protecting the wheels well. So either add some Clark pads or baby bumper pads or use the stock pads to protect your wheel from dropping. When you're doing the skating exercise, you want to do it in multiple directions, not straight line. You want to do counterclockwise, clockwise, as many different patterns as you can whilst keeping that leg locked in. Remember, the effort needs to be not in the leg that's skating, but in the leg that's locked in. That's what we're trying to develop with these exercises. Once that foundation is built, it's going to be much easier to move on to the next phase of riding where you actually put both feet on the wheel and are able to ride around because you've developed both your stabilizing muscles in multiple directions so you're prepared for whatever movements are going to come when the wheel uh, when both feet are on the wheel and you're riding it around like normal right so the more you practice this exercise the stronger those stabilizing muscles are going to be if you put a week or two weeks into the two weeks into this exercise you're really going to be in a better place than if you just kind of took some shortcuts and started riding right away. Here are the three exercises for you. The first one, lock in, step up without putting your foot on the pedal. The second one, you're stepping up and trying to get that second foot onto the pedal. And the third exercise, you're skating around. If you guys enjoyed this video, I really hope it was helpful. If it was or wasn't, feel free to leave a comment, hit the thumbs up button, use my affiliate code, check out zenly.com. And most importantly, stay in the Zen zone, stay safe out there.